What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. As you've known, if you follow my channel, my Galaxy Z Fold 4 has broken. It has a defect on the outside display where when I touch it, it doesn't move at all. And I have had the Galaxy S23 Ultra since its inception, but it hasn't been my main phone. The Z Fold 4 has been my main phone the whole way through. And I wanted to talk about my experience going from the Z Fold 4 to the Galaxy S23 Ultra and tell you if there's anything that I liked and didn't like and if if I miss anything about the Galaxy Z Fold 4 since that phone is still with Samsung trying to get fixed. So let's just jump into it. So I think the biggest thing coming from the Z Fold 4 to the S23 Ultra has been the display size. That has definitely been personally one of the biggest turnoffs and not so biggest turnoffs about going from the Fold 4 to this phone because I live in that huge display on the Z Fold 4 and to come back to a screen this size all the time, I I don't know, it, there's something about like, because I, I watch a lot of videos on my Z Fold 4 and to come back here and watch a video on this display, which let's be honest, it's kind of big, it's not super small, but going from Z Fold 4 to this, it just feels really, really small and it's, to the point where it's like, yeah, I'm not that, I, I, it's, it's hard to get immersed in the videos that I'm watching. I don't feel as satisfied when I'm watching a, a video on here, you know? So like you got my buddy dancing with tech, check out his videos. But anyways, you watch a video on here and it's not that, it's just not as big as and, and immersive as I want. And that's definitely one of the biggest turnoffs about this uh, is that is watching videos I much prefer on the Z Fold for um, some really impressive blow away features that the S23 Ultra has that the Z Fold 4 definitely doesn't have is amazing battery life. I am, I've had this off since 6 a.m. It's 8 p.m. now. I still have 24% battery life. I don't have any battery saving features on at all. It's running at full capacity, 120 Hertz, uh, 2K plus resolution. I don't have anything turned down. I have auto brightness on, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth are all on, all my apps are logged into. It's amazing. I'm so happy with this battery life. I don't have any complaints with it at all. It's been absolutely amazing. I'm not worried that, you know, if I go out somewhere, I'm gonna be like, even if I have 30, 40%, I'm not worried like, oh damn, I gotta charge that thing up, it's gonna die. With the Z Fold 4, that is one of my main worries is the battery life. This has been absolutely amazing. Uh, brightness outdoors, this is a lot better than the Z Fold 4. I can see this a lot better outdoors. I mean, not, I wouldn't say it's like 100% better, but it's, you know, 25, 40% somewhere in that range better feeling and seeing uh, this outside, this display outside versus the Z Fold 4. Another great thing about the S23 Ultra over the Z Fold 4 is how smooth the S23 Ultra is. You know, the, the Samsung phones have definitely gotten smoother from like, you know, you look at a phone from five years ago and then, you know, it would start to lag over a certain period of time and those days are pretty much gone now. But you know, phones can always, especially on the Samsung side, can always be faster, smoother, more responsive. S23 Ultra is definitely that phone. It is so smooth and the animations look great. I love how fast and, and responsive this phone is. It's excellent. A lot more than the Z Fold 4. Now, you know, when I say a lot more, I'm talking maybe like if you're doing percentages here, maybe 25% more feeling smoother and faster and the animations are just in line and feel great. It's a, it, that's one of the, one of the main, main things I really, really love about this phone is how smooth it is. I love the Z Fold 4 because of its huge display size, but to be honest with you, it, it is kind of nice to come back to this phone, a phone like this size, and just use it and not have to open it up and forth, which I have like that muscle memory where I almost like, I grab this phone, I'm like, oh no, can't open it, it's already open, it's already ready to go. So it, it, it's, a, it's a, a bad thing and a good thing, you know, I, the, the size of the Z Fold 4, but then it's kind of nice, like I said, just to grab this thing and just be able to use it, not really have to worry about it. Um, I'm not worried about dropping this. You know, I have a good case on this. Z Fold 4 is a little bit more fragile. You have to be a little bit more worried about it. You definitely have to have a good case on there in case you drop it. This, these are like rock solid at this time, at this point, you know, they're so well built and all of that. Cameras are so, I mean, I like, I, the cameras, when I've compared the S23 Ultra to the Z Fold 4 cameras, I was it wasn't like such a big win for the S23 Ultra, but I just noticed like when I'm using, you know, uh, a social media type app and taking a quick photo or the main camera app on here, have it be for video or photo and just using it, it's so much 
more reliable and, and good. Um, I've been very happy with that. Another thing I noticed too about the software is, because again, Z Fold 4 is like my main phone and then jumping over to this, I noticed this seems a little bit less buggy with some of the apps and just the overall UI in general versus the Z Fold 4. Sometimes the Z Fold 4 is pretty st sturdy, but the last update or two have been kind of buggy on my phone, so hasn't been that impressive with some of the uh, the, the updates. They've been a, little, been, been a little bit buggy, so it's been nice to come over to this and everything's pretty much rock solid when I use it, especially, you know, the apps being used to a display size like this versus the Z Fold 4, which is kind of a different, not as popular form factor versus this. The other nice thing, and I know it has faster charging, is the 45 watt charging, this phone definitely seems to be charging faster than my Z Fold 4 using the same chargers. And maybe it is that 45 watt versus the 25 watt on the Z Fold 4, but it does seem to charge a little bit faster. But overall, I've been very, very happy with this. And it's an excellent phone. I don't really have any bad things per se to say about it. Um, it, using the using it this whole whole time except for maybe like I said the display for me for watching video is a little bit too small but that can be rectified by if you already have a tablet but also at the same time if like you're used to this form factor and you've had this form factor for the last year two three four five six years coming to this isn't gonna blow you away like a Z Fold 4 might blow you away or give you that wow factor like I don't think this phone's gonna give you a wow factor if you've if you've had phones just like this but it's a great, great phone. I'm very happy with it. Um, and I gave it good reviews as well. It's like definitely, obviously the best, it's definitely the best Samsung Galaxy phone. It's not the most exciting in my eyes, but you know, for everything it offers and has, it's definitely the best. If you wanna pick it up, it's linked down below. Let me know your thoughts. If you've come from a Fold 4 to this phone, are you happy, are you sad? Let me know in the comments down below. Have a great day and we will see you down the road. Peace.